So revisiting what if. Da 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 Just uh, you know, it was it's a good it's a good series. I had to go and rewatch it. I mean, why wouldn't I? Especially after what happened with Doctor Strange multi multiverse of madness, which I can so confirm a little bit confirm that technically they called it Strange Supreme. I was going to call him Sinister S Supreme or something like that. But yeah, the one that we got to see in Doctor Strange for the Doctor Strange episode, you can kind of lean towards and be like, yeah, that's exactly what happened in that one the one where he actually had to go against the guy for the dark hold, but instead it's more of the fact of the, what if Dr. Strange did something of absorbing powers? That's what he did. He did power absorption. And that's why he became that. Oh my gosh. And it's like, well, I guess they didn't have the money to do that, but I'm like, it kind of should have, but either way, the, the music fight and stuff was pretty cool. You gotta admit, that was kind of actually something interesting to see. But I think technically he did the same thing with a dark hold and he tried to use the dark hold to save his girl, I guess. So it's kind of like what happened in the what if. But we got to see actual looks of what it looks like when it was getting disintegrated, even though it seems like. We might say he slowed the process. So apparently when it comes to making sure the universe wasn't destroyed like that, the best way to go would have been using the Darkhold. Or Darkhold combined or something like that. But anyways, back to what if. It's just cool to just watch it is and like Man, so many of them and I watched them one by one and many of them got resolved, but there's like at least a few that didn't get resolved. So, technically, there's only one that didn't get resolved. And then there's one that's, like, coming on season two, question mark? Because it's like, okay, hold on, here we go. So, when it comes to Tony and his interesting Iron Man suit and Gamora, we didn't get to see that episode. Apparently, that episode was supposed to be in it, and they cut the episode. So, the episode will show up in season two, I think, or we think. And that's the that's the thing that we didn't get the resolution to. Resolution two, the one that really actually matters, is the fact of the zombie universe. So, in the zombie universe, we don't know exactly what truly happened. And I guess technically, looking at it, Here's the messed up thing. Here's the good news, bad news. So, I had to understand what exactly was going on. Because he opened the world and the zombies came out, right? So, it could be one or two things. One, it's the same universe. Two, is another universe that he pulled that's the same thing. I have to believe it's the same universe. And what's crazier is that he got everyone there, including the Scarlet Witch. But lo and behold, the Hulk was nowhere to be found. So if the Hulk was nowhere to be found, the question remains, did Hulk actually use this time to jump out of the way? He's like, yeah, he's like, oh my gosh, is the circle doing out? And he jumped out the way while she and everyone else got absorbed. So now Hulk is free. So that means that Bruce Banner is free to try to get to Wakanda, even though, of course, well, Thanos over there, that jerk ass. <laughs> that was number one. Number two is the fact of Bucky got freaking pimp slapped all out of there. He's like the freaking Power Ranger pimp slap of 2017. He just got clear out of here. And just out of here. And it's like, where the hell did he land it? Where do you land, end up, and will we get to see him again? So, the fun part is that we will see Captain Carter again, because there is something that we're leaning to, so we'll see what happens in that, in the Winter Soldier spin. That's what's going to happen, maybe, in Winter Soldier spin, is the hers. So, we'll see how that works. But I kind of will hope that we get to see Marvel Zombies again, but it's like, oh, we're going to have a TV show, too, and it's like... I guess you have a TV show too, but make sure that you actually give us a good conclusion of what happens with Bucky and with Bruce Banner and the other guys. It's like, yeah, and Hank. 
sorry, and Ant Man and Spider Man and all crap T'Challa's was like, oh, they gotta recast them. But it's like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna figure out some way to kill them off. <laughs> it's like, damn it, guys, damn it, just damn it, guys, damn it. So we'll just see how that plays out. <laughs> yeah, but it's the, the funniest part is be the fact of where it's like the abrupt end of where it's like Killmonger is Black Panther and he did a lot of sh- and it's like we have Pepper Potts and we had uh Shuri. Yeah, they were you're about to freaking bust his ass and he disappeared and he will never see him ever again. He's been incarcerated with freaking um Arlem Zola and there's no whatsoever of him breaking out. So that means that this whole entire thing that they're craving for justice will never actually happen because he disappeared. So they don't really get to have an awesome justice. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest part was like they just disappeared and those guys will not get air justice instead it's like the threat is gone so they can move on with their lives there's gonna be always a big question of Argo, where the hell did he go but depending on and i counted it was 14 um universes 14 universes got blasted well knocked into it's like yeah ultron vision knocked the Watcher, Natu, into 14 universes. There was at least one of them that actually had photo, video of him. And I would say the one with video of him is the one with Captain America, present Captain America. So we don't know exactly for sure where is that timeline. But if... <coughs> <coughs> oh, well. Frick it. We have no idea where that timeline is going. And if it was the same universe, well, there we go. That's awesome. That'll just add some interesting parts of where it's like, okay, so they figured it out where he went. Maybe. But of course, I'm pretty sure they're not connected. Since they're not connected, that means that they're going to be forever asking, where is Killmonger? And it's like, they might be searching the whole entire world for him. And they're going to keep on doing that for years, even though it's like, ah, his trail went cold. So that's it. That's basically everything. I don't think anything else was closed that needed more help. We'll just see another Guardians of the Multiverse, maybe, or just they'll end it with a cool Avengers episode for season two. But I would really hope we'd see um, Superior Strange or Sinister Strange or whatever you want to call them again. I would like to see him again. I really would. Of course, we're going to see Captain Carter again, but we're going to see like a lot more that comes back. So in the end, even though I'm pretty sure we're not going to have like an actual episode with uh, Superior Sinister Strange, we will have one with um, Captain Carter. We'll have that. We will have one with um, Tony and Gamora. We'll have one of those. So at least we know two episodes that should happen. And I guess maybe Marvel Zombies, too. So that leaves us at least having four, I guess, four, maybe five, because we don't know what's going to happen with the, the season finale again. It could be something awesome as a two-parter, or it could just be contained one-parter. But either way, it's like we have five new stories that can be told. And I'm pretty sure we have a few of them that could actually be told and it'll be awesome. We'll just have to see how that plays out, right? Yep. I'm pretty sure that when it comes to Ghost in Ant-Man and the Wasp, oh, they're going to have a hell of a time being like, yeah, we're going to spin that character, spin that character. But again, I think it's a great season, season, great series, and I wish they would put it on DVD and Blu-ray. But of course, you know, all Disney Plus stuff is not going to have anything. You're not going to do anything. We were lucky to get Netflix. We were lucky for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to be released. I don't think The Runaways ever actually released. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure The Runaways did, did they? They might have. I'll say they might have. But these days, we're not going to get any DVD, DVD and Blu-ray release of the TV shows. And that's a damn shame. <laughs> that's a damn shame. It's like, hey, hey, at least release the Netflix shows, please. At least release those again, please please because those were a limited run 
and it sucked. <laughs> it's like it was a limited run and it fucking sucked. It's like, what the frick? And I'm pretty sure Daredevil season three did not actually have a DVD release. Not an official one. Hold it, son. Wouldn't you rather have an exciting action figure? Ah, but only Batman fits in my Batmobile. Hurrah! 